Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's tutorial, we're gonna take a look at Fuser. I wanna show you how to export models from the plugin in Revit into Fuser. I'm gonna also go through all the settings under Ribbon. That's gonna be a great uh, tutorial for you to understand each and every one of those settings under Ribbon when you're exporting a model from Revit and also how to update it. Without further ado, let's jump into Fuser. So after you're done installing Fuser, if you open up your Revit and you go all the way up from the top after the add-ins, you have one on your Ribbon, it's a tab for Fuser plugin. So you can click on this. Basically, it's gonna give you a Fuser 2024 or what version that you have. And then basically you can launch it and it's gonna open it up for you. So as soon as you launch, it's basically open everything up for you and you'll be able to see the Fuser next to your um, Revit. So before I go over there, I wanna go through this toolbar and explain what are these tabs or panels that we have over here under your Fuser uh, dropdown. So the first one, Launch Fuser, it's a button to open the Fuser Revit Document Manager to sync your file to Revit. Um, view Sync, it's a bottom toggles syncing of the views between Fuser and Revit, so you can kind of go back with the different views. If you pause, or go on the Pause Fuser, it's button disconnect the live link between the Fuser or Revit. So as soon as you click on the pause, it's gonna break that connection between your Fuser and Revit model. Link file manager, that opens Fuser Revit document manager window that we're gonna get to it. Um, edit selection, so basically this one selects and focuses on the selected object in Fuser. So you have like a certain object, certain set, it's gonna go and basically select and focuses on those. And then uh, uh, there's gonna be another one called uh, camera snapshot. So camera snapshot opens a Revit window with a Fuser window. So it's basically you'll be able to take those FBX of replace, opens a tool to replace a family object with an FBX. So if you have an FBX file, this is a way to do it. And then also you have the HoloLens QR code. And that basically if you're using the HoloLens allows you to place a HoloLens QR code in your Revit file. You know, so that's going to be basically what you have. And then request sync back. So this is a really good one. That basically syncing your Fuser to your Revit. So if you're making any changes in your Fuser, you'll be able to see all of those changes and send them back and sync them back to your Revit. Um, this is not going to be for every single item. It's going to be a certain uh, subject or categories. It's going to be like the foliage, lighting adjustment, family object, assigned media, um, like a, a particle system, deleted objects, uh, QR code, uh, material changes, material adjustments. So these are can be uh, synced back to Revit. So you'll be able to basically see the changes over here. So these are basically all the tabs over here that you can see. But first that you want to start Fuser, launch Fuser. And then it's gonna open up the Fuser and after that it's gonna open up this Fuser Revit document manager that we talked about. Um, so right here, basically it's gonna ask you um, what view you wanna send, right? So I wanna send a 3D view, which is uh, my view right here in uh, Revit. It's a very simple uh, project that I created. It's just a wall, couple of windows, doors, and the floors, nothing. Uh, crazy we just wanted to use it as this so I'm gonna tell them send these 3d view that I haven't created so detail level same as Revit you want to send fine medium curves so I'm gonna uh, do the fine and then coordinates so coordinates are important if you are using the shared coordinates in your Revit model and you have multiple objects um, it's recommended to use shared so he's so everything is gonna be aligned in Fuser. If you're using project internal in your project, it's recommended to use that one. So whatever you use, any coordinate system in your Revit model, you have to pick that one for all the 
items that you're sending so everything is aligned in your Revit. I'm gonna select shirt over here and then we have like a couple of boxes over here I want to go over what is uh, what items we have so the first one is basically talking about the export geometry so export geometry if you check this box uh, exports 3d geometry to refuse or file so we have to have these checked uh, send views um, so this checkbox populates your fuser project with your Rev Revit saved view so if you have saved views in your Revit is gonna basically send everything and then the last one which is send lines uh, ensures that 2d lines on model geometry as well as floating lines from link DWGs or anything that you have any type of line 2d lines in your uh, Revit model, especially everything that you have with your DWG imported, is going to send all of those to Fuser. So this is basically just all the settings that you need to follow to send something from Revit to Fuser. So when you're happy with all of these and selected, you easily can just hit OK. It's going to take a, a few seconds or it depends on you know how complex your model is. You basically see that these two are gonna sync and basically you'll be able to see your uh, 3D model from Revit going into Fuser pretty quick. So you can see right here my 3D kind of showing up over there. It's gonna be the same item that I have. And then this is gonna be the, uh, the 3D version of it basically uh, inside this um, Fuser. So same thing, it's just a matter of, I wanna make sure you guys kinda of follow the exports to send everything from Revit into Fuser. If you like the content, please subscribe and leave a like. Thanks for watching.